Hey everyone, uh, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this is not too low. I did a, a little test, audio test, <coughs> seeing it work okay. But um, all right, so this is a coloring video, coloring for beginners. If you're coloring your comic script or your illustration, um, and today we will be coloring with um, market, markers. <laughs> Why was I struggling to say markers? Um, uh, so yeah, so I think these are acid base markers. Um, this is the Blick Studio brand. There are other brands. Um, let me just pan over here real quick. And, and okay, slight tangent. So this is on fairly sturdy. Um, I have my work desk at a an angle. I don't know, maybe 45 degrees, who knows, I'm not sure, um, but it's not flat. Um, so, and if I didn't, here's a little trick, uh, penis tape. So right there, put penis tape, um, stick it, and stays in place. If not, it would just slide off. So um, so there you go. So little little tip, if you're using a case, a cup, whatever. So. But yeah, so I'm using, so we're going to be using uh, these uh, markers today uh, for this piece. And and I've made an error, which means I would just need to do ex extra work. <laughs> I was going to um, uh, scan this uh, uh, onto my Lip Studio paint, uh, but I did not. So I will... Um, have to just draw it over, sketch it, and because I want to show the digital uh, part of coloring as well. Um, but since I've started this traditional uh, penciling, inking, and not coloring, um, we're going to continue with this. So you can choose whatever medium you want to. I'm just choosing markers. Uh, color pencils are a great medium to begin with, um, even like color pen. Uh, uh, pastels as well um, uh, and so um, but color pencils are easy because you could blend a lot uh, um, easier um, and you can also uh, you know you can just manipulate the colors and it doesn't feel like it's really permanent you could start off really low unlike you know markers where um, you know you lay down a color and that's the color that you gonna stick with you know you know there's not a whole lot of correction you can do with that color um, start off with markers as you can see um, this the color sample on the pen on the marker uh, is very lighter than what's being put on paper so that's a good so this is also a good way to just uh, make a sample first swatch just to make sure that hey man that's I didn't expect it to be that dark or that light and I didn't expect for that to be that dark so I'm gonna come with uh, pink and that's just not the right tune that I want so I'm just gonna have to deal with this because uh, this is this is the lighter the lightest shade that I have for uh, my color scheme so as you can see here, I have three other colors. Um, some of these are gonna be just for like shading and um, texture volume. And so, so here we go. So as you see anything with penciling and inking, you have your, you have your light direction. And so now you know what uh, direction you want your piece to, um, uh, to follow so so here we go um, and with these pants you have the brush nib and the broad uh, nib so so I'm going to start here actually I'm going to start here with a brush and if you are just starting out uh, I would recommend just making a few copies of your finished ink uh, project or pencil if you wanted to uh, minimize your uh, construction lines uh, but whatever the project is 
if you're uncertain just make some photocopies and then practice um, on the photocopies until you get a, a good command of what you want to do so uh, so here I'm just gonna lay this down and with markers uh, you want a smooth stroke as best as you can because you will end up so here's a stroke and now if I go over the stroke again it's gonna get darker and so it blends um, so you want to keep that in mind if you are looking for just a smooth um, color layout now this paper that I'm using I don't think it's I mean I think it's doable for the uh, markers that I'm using um, but I don't think it's the the most uh, ideal um, one so I think this is a smoother surface um, you know I may be able to get away with that so here I'm just um, just hitting all the spots that I want um, this is where I can use the brush nib tip and I'm going to show you something I'm, I'm coming here with even some some other color as well but I'm going to show you just a little trick if you've gone over the area that you want to highlight how you can still add um, a light highlight to that to that area so here we go so we start off with a base and that's my base um, you want to with anything I said color pencils are easier to manipulate because you can you can darken um, your 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 layers um, a lot easier and it's more forgiving with um, color pencils uh, when you get into your um, say like watercolor ah, that's not a good choice but say like markers you, you want to start as light as you possibly can um, so here I'm uh, coming with the more orange base now I know that in this area here there's shading is so so this will get darker still but I'm just layering just as if you were painting I'm just creating my layers um, as I go that way I can determine um, what areas I want to lighten or darken All right, so I'm going there. I'm going to come over here as well. Uh, this is a uh, caramel. Now, as you can see, this is not as dark as the orange that I laid down, uh, but it's still adding um, an overall. Uh, color scheme and authenticity to my piece and basically to what I want to achieve and that's why I said you know it's good to have uh, just some copies so that way you can you can actually play around with um, your your sample and 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 see like oh you know what these color schemes eh, doesn't work let me try this and then try something risky you know I may try some purples or whatever you never know and like oh you know what that actually works that, that doesn't look crazy so but you won't know unless you actually try it so coming here with the SEMA this is gonna be a darker still and I'm not competing with my inks I'm just allowing it to uh, dictate where my be get my shadows are gonna be because I still want the inks to complement uh, just what uh, the overall piece will look like so and again the more you I mean I haven't really worked with markers a whole lot uh, but the more you apply and use a medium, um, um, the more confidence you will build, you know. So um, I've always worked with color pencils and, and um, like I've always worked with color pencils and acrylics 
because I always feel like it was just easier to manage. Uh, but if you don't uh, push yourself, uh, you won't really progress. I'm not saying that you can't just become a master of that particular medium you prefer. But if you are just avoiding it because you're petrified, <laughs> Uh, then you, you really won't grow um, because you won't challenge yourself to um, um, develop uh, and improve upon. So there we go. It's a little bit too much brown for my liking uh, for the pumpkin. Um, but uh, so I'm just going to come back with, uh, with the uh, orange. And that's why it's good to, and like I said, these are like mid-level, maybe higher, low mid-level um, um, acid brush, brushes and markers. Um, you know, you have the Copic brand, uh, which is, I think, in industry um, known and wide as far as um, option of choice when it comes to uh, uh, graphic markers and such. So, so here you have it. Um, I may, let's see, get some cool gray, just to highlight the, the lighting. And, and now, um, I can add the, here. So yeah, so there you have it. Um, and you can feel, you can, you know, get a little freer with um, your background stuff. You'll add different colors just to complement, uh, depending on what you, your color scheme, what you want to achieve. So just before I wrap up uh, the video, there's two other approaches you can use to add some highlights um, uh, to your piece. Uh, right here, I have um, the, and this is just basically a correction pen. So it's basically white out in pen form. And so you push down and it releases um, the white out. So you can use this method or you can just buy, uh, you can just buy um, pen white out. And this is white out. Um, basically like ink um, but it's just white and you can use a brush and then you can apply um, that to your, your pieces so I use this whenever I'm doing like watercolor and whenever I'm practicing watercolor and this as well so and I will actually use this also with my ink work um, so let's just say here um, I wanted to apply some white see so bam there's a there's a highlight and it's a small tip and so you can control that so I thought that I applied too much color here I can come over um, with this white out and just cover those areas that I thought I put a little bit too much color and then once that dries um, it will it will blend in and take over and if I wanted to add um, some color here I can do that if I want to add a spot just add some some highlights I can and again you know just practice with it so you can know okay just how much pressure I need to apply um, and then you can go from there so and then I'm going to come here and uh, dark umber I just come here and that's how it's a little color to to the ground area and so yeah, there you have it. Um, thanks for watching this, this series. Uh, it was fun just uh, uh, making 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 these videos. Uh, and of course, I'll continue. Um, I'll and if you have a suggestion or a, a topic uh, in the art field that you would like for me to cover, and if I am able to cover it, um, I'll be sure to make a video on that. Um, I think I will make an updated uh, watercolor video. Um, I did do one when I made this piece. And, and this again, this was just like a sketch of watercolor. 
So, so I'm just trying to think of some just creative videos, particularly for beginners, uh, so that way you don't feel um, uh, over overwhelmed and starting in the art field um, and and your beginning stages. So we all had to start, and some of us, you you know, whether we were really gifted in the field, uh, certain things may have come uh, a lot easier. Uh, but we all have to develop our um, our gift and our ability and so and each time I draw I improve and just before I go so let's just say you're done with this piece and you're like you know what I want to add more inks so you can let that dry and usually these acid um, markers they dry pretty fast come back with your brush um, ink um, or whatever and then you can come in and just add um, you know, if you want it, just more, um, a more graphic look with your, with your inks. So you can come in and you can do that if you wanted to, to do that, you know, and so, and there you go. So coloring, uh, for beginners. Thanks again. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. I greatly appreciate that. Um, you can also go to my website, it's michellowelly.com. Um, and you can, if you want to, support what I do here. Uh, be sure to go to my Patreon page. It's michellowelly.com. Uh, actually, it's patreon.com forward slash michellowelly. I don't know where my mind is right now. so. Um, and then when you're done, you know, you can just uh, dry your, your piece. And so, even if it's a sketch, I would say sign it, date it. At least that way, you know, you can, you can track and archive. Oh, I did this June 12th. Um, and, and, you know, uh, I usually can remember which year. Uh, but hey, let's put the year in there too. That way you can have a full chronology of, of what you've done. Thanks so much, guys, for, for watching. I uh, appreciate uh, your time here. And have a great afternoon, evening, night, day. Grace and peace.